regarding a question how should the muslims behave see what happened after 7th of july in london there was a bomb blast all the muslim most of the muslim scholars in usa they got together and they condemned it in uk they did the same i wouldn't like to name them i know many of them they condemned what happened on 11th september in new york is haram it is wrong we condemn it what happened on 7th of july in london more than 50 people died on 11th september more than 3000 people died we condemn it full stop see what they said is right i don't disagree quran clearly says in surah maida chapter number 5 verse number 32 if anyone kills any other human being unless it be for murder or for creating mischief in the land it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity i also too condemn if more than 3000 innocent people have died in the world trade center on the 11th of september it has to be condemned if more than 50 innocent people died in london it has to be condemned but don't put a full stop i also condemn that thousands of people that have died in afghanistan have to be condemned the thousands of people that died in iraq have to be condemned the thousands of people that have been butchered in bosnia have to be condemned the people that have been killed in the land of palestine has to be condemned why are we afraid but when i asked the american he tells me no you know america is the different if we speak too much we'll have problem i said why america is the country of freedom of speech what are you afraid of i speak in india people who know bombay the situation of bombay is very bad at least in america and london you can speak and get through you know people say that zakir don't you get that threats this part and parcel of my profession it's part and parcel of my profession didn't the prophet get that threats we are following in the footsteps of the prophet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there to protect us but speak the truth but speak with hikmah so if we have to speak if we condemn we condemn killing innocent people is wrong we agree that what happened when more than 3000 people on 11 september was killed it's wrong we condemn what happened in london is wrong but we also condemn the other atrocities done when a person straps a bomb and blows himself up and kills 20 30 innocent people he is called as a terrorist but when a person throws a bomb from a plane and kills thousands of afghanis he is called as a brave american soldier what bravery is it in hindi we say chudiyan pehne hue what bravery is it from top you are putting bombs that also it blows into another 50 bombs so we should know that islam is a religion of truth and i started my talk and i end the answer of this also with the same condition of surah isra chapter 17 verse number 81 which says wa qul jaal haqq wa zaq al batil inn al batil qan nazawka when truth is heard again falsehood falsehood perishes for falsehood is by its nature bound to perish we continue on with the session the fire of faith igniting the same fires in you The next question from the brother on my left. Uh, my name is Noman. I work in the field of internet travel and marketing. My question revolves around the strongest form of media today is movies. Movies originating from Hollywood, Bollywood, Lollywood, and probably now Dollywood in Dubai. <laughs> Fortunately, for their benefit, it gets the message across in many forms. Passion of the Christ was one form that. related a story about Jesus Christ it was the script was in hebrew i wanted to first ask how much of that was uh, um, in line with what christianity preaches and how much we can relate to quran as well obviously there's some deviations as well but again the masses took that understanding and absorbed it and that's what their understanding is so my second part to the question is how can we use the media in form of movies to effectively communicate the message of Islam like it was done in the form of the first movie called the message from which i understood a lot of people converted to islam after watching that movie jazakallah but as a question that movies do play an important role in creating opinions and conveying the message hollywood bollywood now you have dollywood dollywood new world that's come from dubai media city and you give the example of passion of christ what are my views of such movies brother i haven't seen that movie passion of christ do i wanted to see it i haven't seen that movie normally i don't see movies but this being a particular movie i wanted to see it but i read reports 
that after this movie was made by Mel Gibson, the way he portrays and he kept it in the original language, there were a lot of criticism. And the way he created it, and which was slightly against the Jewish lobby. Because of that, there was a Jew and cry. But it also became popular in the negative sense. When you speak something negative, it became a box office. So there it did break the records. He was walking on the edge of the sword. He invested so much money. If it went a flop, he would lose millions of dollars. It went a hit. And it had many things which were right. Many things would agree with the Islamic point of view. Many would not agree with the Islamic point of view. As far as the second question is concerned on message, and I've seen that movie, Message, made by Mustafa Akkad and Anthony Quinn was acting as Hamza. May Allah be pleased with him. The way the movies are made was excellent. I really appreciate it. One of the best movies on the Islamic line, I would say, is The Message. Alhamdulillah, without showing the hero, without showing Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, without showing his picture, without showing his voice, Alhamdulillah, the whole picture was revolving around the hero Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, without showing his picture, without his voice, once they show his camel and his staff, that's it. But the way the angle of the camera was, that to show that the Prophet did not like and he turned his face away, then the angle of the camera changes. So the direction was superb. It was a masterpiece. And we do require such more movies. But the budgets of these movies are big. It runs into millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. So the budget is there. But it did make a lot of money. Mustafa Khan. Then he made another film called as Umar Mukhtar. Talking about not 100% Islam, but talking about a Muslim. Which also did create a box office and all. We do require such movies, but we see to it that whatever you create, it should be on lines on Islam, Quran and Sharia. There was something which I don't agree, everything of message is right. As a whole, it was good. There were things which were wrong also in the message movie, but as a whole, it was good. As a whole, it was good. What we have to do that we have to create on lines of the Islamic Sharia without breaking any laws of the Quran, the Sahih Hadith, and portray it in a way, same way, not only movies, we have to make docudramas, we have to make serials. We have to make documentaries. Because in the media, it is a white elephant. White elephant. You know, if you know about Kone Baninga Kodapati, it was a copy of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. On an average, they spend one million dollars. More than four crore rupees only on one episode. One episode only. 45 to 50 minutes in Bombay. Where labor is cheap. Pramita Bachchan is expensive. <laughs> so the thing is there that the budget is there. Surely those people or philanthropists who would like to sponsor such, they should sponsor such films and make such films so that we can convey the message. But I yet believe. Makaro Allah, Wallah khel makreen. The new movie that has been made, The Kingdom of Heaven, it was made by a very famous director and he portrayed the incidents, how the crusaders attacked and they killed thousands of people and then Salahuddin, the hero, he comes and he showed as a hero. There was a big hue and cry in the western media that how could he make such a film. He's a Christian. He only portrayed what was fact in history. But it did not go down the throat of the westerners. There was a big hue and cry. But because the person was a very famous director, Alhamdulillah, it did not do much damage. But if a non-Muslim makes such film in the kingdom of heaven, that film also I did not see, but I read the reports that it did a marvelous job. It conveyed the true picture to a great extent. So such films should be encouraged. Hope that answers the question. Yes, brother. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Aminullah Sharif. I'm an accountant by profession. And I'm proud to say that I come from your nation, from India. Your lecture on jihad was very impressive and very educative. My question is, most of us, I'm sure, here uh, feel or are under the impression that Osama bin Laden is doing jihad. Now, most of my colleagues in my office and in back home, they ask me that, is he doing jihad? Now, we are lost, like, we don't know how to convince them. And my second question is, if it is not jihad, what do we call this activity? Brother, As per Islam. Brother, the question is, Osama bin Laden doing jihad? Brother, I haven't met Osama bin Laden. I don't know him personally. I cannot base my views on what I see on CNN and BBC. Therefore, I will not comment because I haven't met him.